hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important problem from definite integral right so here uh, we have to evaluate this integral uh, that is 0 to square root of 2 and e raised to greatest integer 1 plus x square right so let us call this integral as i right now viewers here we see that uh, 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 we have uh, uh, the greatest integer function as a power of uh, uh, e right so what we will do here uh, we will uh, make use of the method of substitution and uh, uh, let us uh, put uh, t is equal to 1 plus x square right so when t is equal to 1 plus x square we have x square is equal to t minus 1 and x is equal to square root of t minus 1 right and let us change the limits accordingly so when we have x is equal to 0 then the value of t is 1 plus 0 square that is 1 plus 0 that is 1 and when x is equal to square root of 2 we have t is equal to 1 plus uh, root 2 square that is 1 plus uh, 2 that is uh, 3 right so now here we see that when x varies from 0 to square root of 2 uh, then uh, t varies from uh, 1 to uh, 3 right so now uh, we can differentiate x with respect to t so dx over uh, dt is equal to d by dt of uh, square root of t minus 1 so we have half uh, square root of t minus 1 right so dx over dt is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of t minus 1 and dx can be written as dt over uh, 2 times the square root of t minus 1 right so now we can uh, represent our uh, integral i in terms of t as t is equal to 1 to 3 and we have e raised to greatest integer t because 1 plus x square is t and for dx we can write dt over uh, 2 times the square root of t minus 1 right now viewers uh, here we see that uh, the value of this variable t it varies from uh, 1 to t is equal to uh, 3 right and we see that between uh, 1 and 3 we have the integer uh, 2 that is uh, uh, that lies between uh, 1 and 3 right so here the limits of integration are from t is equal to 1 to 3 and between 1 and 3 we have the integer uh, 2 right so uh, we have to break uh, this integral at t is equal to 2 and uh, first we have to integrate from t is equal to 1 to 2 and then from uh, 2, 2 to 3 right so now what we will do we will break this uh, integral as a sum of two integrals i1 and i2 right and i1 is from 1 to 2 and i2 is from 2 to uh, 3 so now i1 can be written as uh, uh, integral from t is equal to 1 to 2 e raised to uh, t and uh, we have dt over 2 times square root of t minus 1 and uh, i2 can be written as integral from t is equal to 2 to 3 and e raised to greatest integer t uh, dt over 2 times the square root of t minus 1 right so now we have to find the value of i1 and i2 and we'll uh, add uh, both the values of i1 and i2 to get the value of i right so now viewers here we see that when t lies between 1 and 2 here the limits of integration are from 1 to 2 and when t lies between 1 and 2 then the value of greatest integer t is equal to 1 and here uh, when t lies between 2 and 3 then the value of greatest integer t is equal to 2 right so now here we can write the 
write 1 and uh, here we can write 2 right so now i1 uh, becomes so i1 can be written as uh, 1 to 2 and we have e raised to 1 and dt over 2 times the square root of t minus 1 and uh, uh, e is the exponential number and e and 2 are constant so we can uh, take them outside this integral sign so we have e over 2 1 to 2 dt over square root of t minus uh, 1 right okay now let us come to i2 so we are solving i1 and i2 uh, simultaneously uh, now see here we have the integral from 2 to 3 and for this greatest integer t we have 2 so here we have e square then we have dt over 2 times square root of t minus 1 and e square over 2 is a constant and we have 2 to 3 and dt over square root of t minus 1 right now viewers uh, here we see that we have the same integrand in both the integrals right so let us find out the value of uh, this integrand that is dt over square root of t minus 1 so we can write it as t minus 1 raised to minus half dt and this is a very simple integral and uh, the integral of this uh, uh, function is t minus half minus half plus 1 over minus half plus 1 right and uh, we can write it as t minus 1 raised to half over half and we have finally 2 times square root of t minus 1 right so the value of this integral that is dt over square root of t minus 1 is equal to 2 times square root of t minus 1 right so now here in i1 in i1 we have e over 2 and we have just calculated the integral so we have 2 times square root of t minus 1 and 1 to 2 right this 2 and this 2 get cancelled and we have e and then we'll substitute the limits so 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and so we have e times 1 minus 0 that is e right so the value of this integral i1 is equal to e now let us come to i2 so here in case of i2 uh, we have e square over 2 and uh, the integral is equal to 2 times square root of t minus 1 and the limits are from 2 to 3 right so now i2 is equal to uh, 2 and 2 get cancelled so we have e square and uh, uh, we will substitute the limits so we have square root of uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is square root of 1 right and so this is e square and root 2 minus 1 right so now viewers uh, the final value of uh, i is equal to i1 plus i2 i1 is equal to e and uh, i2 is uh, uh, equal to e square and root 2 minus 1 right so i is the sum of these two integrals so we have e plus e square uh, times square root of 2 minus 1 right or in other words we can also write it as we can take e common so we have uh, 1 plus e times square root of 2 minus 1 right so this is the value of uh, the given uh, integral